My goodness, the press for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry after the Golden Globes has been horrible for the couple. So you ready for the spin? You ready for the real reason why they didn't attend the Golden Globes? I hope you're sitting down. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. My goodness, thanks to all you who watched. We had almost a half a million people watched our video yesterday about the Globes and our recap. So thank you. Before we even go there, thanks to everybody who subscribed. Uh, you can subscribe here. Hit that bell for all alerts. Smash that like button. You helped us get to quarter, three quarters of a million subscribers. Woo! I can't believe it. We're so close to a million. Help us out. Hit that subscribe. And better yet, if you haven't, can you do me a favor? All the royal coverage goes here, Popcorn Palace, and we do it every day. We have royal reporting. We're at 53 now. I'd love to get this up. So all you guys who've been subscribing because you like these royal videos, please subscribe over to Palace because we will be pivoting to other news from time to time here on this channel. And if you want your daily royal tea, head on over to Popcorn Palace. Please hit that subscribe. Click the little, I'll put the little, it should be a little I card. You can click that and then go subscribe. I'll also put it at the end of this video. But all right, getting to the story at hand. Yes, apparently the real reason Meghan Markle wasn't there was because she turned it down, guys. She turned it down. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to get to the quote in a second. This comes in. But you're telling me the woman who went to this year's Power of Women Gala for Variety when she wasn't even nominated. The woman who went to see Beyonce twice so she could get photo apps with all the, the, the talent there. The person who's obsessed with Taylor Swift and was trying to get her on the show. And you're telling me that same person who showed up to be silent on stage for Kevin Costner to hand an award. This woman who's always out there doing any event she can do. She had something else to do that night and turned it down. No, I'm not buying it. And I have more proof to show you why I don't buy it. We're going to get there in a second, but let's go to the quote at hand. You ready for this? Here it is. Uh, Meghan Markle turned down the chance to reunite with her Suits co-stars, page six, can reveal. The Duchess of Sussex was invited to join the former cast members, Patrick J. Adams, Gabriel Macht, Sarah Rafferty, and Gina Torres on stage to present the TV drama, best TV drama, uh, but was unavailable. We asked the Duchess, but we were told that unfortunately she had a previous commitment, a Globes insider told us. Hmm... What other commitment could you have aside from missing this? You're the big opportunity to celebrate with your friends, your co-stars, to hobnob with all the celebrities, and you decided not to come. I, I suspect you, if if that's true, you clearly didn't want to be made fun of because you knew you would be if you showed up because it would be so awkward walking around that room. So there's a part of me like, maybe she didn't want to actually get uh, made fun of it by directly to her face and with everybody else in the room. Uh, but that didn't stop Joe Coy and everybody else from still doing that as they ripped on her. Uh, but what do you think? Do you believe this excuse coming in? Now, here's why I don't. I told you I had some proof. I want to I prove it to you. Here's why I'm not buying it. I, I don't buy this at all. And this is now the spin, mind you, in countless pieces of uh, publications out there now. Hello Magazine also picking it up. Uh, and it, the, Held out hope for Megan to make an appearance, but alas, she couldn't attend. Hello understands that Megan was invited, but unable to attend due to another commitment and is still in touch with with the cast members. Pfft. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Well, no, Gina Torres is the one who's getting all the press for her brilliantly classy diss, her blunt response regarding Meghan Markle's absence, uh, which, you know, I know you guys have seen, but I'm going to play this one more time just because I can't resist. And I want you to pay attention because there's a piece of this. Now that I've seen Meghan's response, I call BS. Here's why. Watch this again. Who texted Meghan and said, you got to come to the Golden Globe, Meghan Markle? We don't have her number. Yeah! <laughs> That's a good one. We just don't. So hope she'll see. She'll watch. She she'll be, be happy that we're here. Oh, now, if this quote was true, think about it, folks. If this quote's true, if she still is in touch with the cast members, if she turned it down because she had a commitment, what an easy answer for Gina to say Sadly, she had another, uh, she couldn't be here tonight, but she was so sad she missed it. We're still in touch. Uh, she's, I, I'm so grateful and wish she could have been here. We miss you, Megan. That's what a real friend cast member who keeps in touch would say, especially the, if it's the truth, right? 
But she was caught off guard because she's like, the look at his face. Come to the Golden Globe, Meghan Markle. We don't have her number. Yeah. <laughs> So you're telling me one of her big, one of her castmates, which all these articles are out there trying to play the PR spin, the Area Manuel WME P media spin, Team Sussex media spin, to try to turn it so the Duchess is just too popular. She's got too many things going on. She would need heightened security to be there. You're telling me uh, that person uh, passed on this invite and that the cast, who she still is in touch with, couldn't have just said, well, she had another, uh, what is the word they used? She had a previous commitment. Sadly, she had some other, she had something else. She couldn't make it tonight. So we're so sad she couldn't be here. We are always thinking about her and yes, we love it. But no, that's not what she said. Not only did she give this blunt response, but she's not in the group chat. <laughs> I mean, this is a bad look for Megan. She blew off this huge event. Now, even per her own I don't believe that's true. I don't believe she was invited. But let's go by the Sussex narrative. She blew it off for something else and didn't like reschedule the other thing to do this. It's not like we saw her somewhere like, oh, well, she's at some kids charity. No, she just wasn't anywhere. So she blew it off and didn't go to this big event where she could have celebrated with her castmates and not even had to do anything, just show up and be there and look nice and show that she's a team player. It would have been a massive PR win for her to show up and be part of the team. And oh my God, look, I'm not the narcissist everyone says I am. Here I am with my ensemble cast. It's so nice to be with them. No, I, I firmly believe she can't just show up with them because they don't like her, because they don't talk to her, because they aren't friends, because she didn't leave a good impression. And these are telling things. And, and I've seen people, oh, Andy, why do you keep reporting and just bullying her? No, no, no. She bullies them. That's the problem here. She keeps putting out these nonsense fake stories to try to make her image look like a certain way. And I'm sick of it. I don't care about Meghan Markle. I, I don't. I know a lot of you care. I don't care. I'm annoyed by her. And I'm going to call out the bullshit when I see it. That's what how I see it. Megan, just stop putting the lies out there. Just quit lying. You don't like your cat. Clearly, you don't all get along. You clearly are not friends. They're, you're not even chatting with them because they're like plebs to you now from the from the, your Montecio lifestyle. And there's, look, I've talked to so many people, guys, off the record, on the record, behind the scenes. She doesn't. She doesn't keep a lot of friends. She does not keep a lot of friends. Megan, that's that's your doing. That's your doing. You can't put yourself out there as this amazing woman of power and oh, all these things that you're so amazing to do and oh, anti-bullying. You you are exactly the things that you're always complaining about. And that's the problem here. That's the problem here. And even like when Patrick uh, Adams uh, was asked, uh, Patrick's asked about her and we played this clip in the first, last week. I'm not going to play it again, but look how the press is now spinning it because even now, even when the guy's trying to be nice, did he snub her? And yeah, when they, when I read this breakdown, I'm like, it's true. He would not give an outright yes. When he was first asked, he was dodging the question about would he work with the Dutchess again? Because I don't believe he wants to diss her like publicly. He doesn't, he, he wants work. He doesn't want to be out there talking crap because Rachel Zane is his love interest on the show. If he's going to come back, it has to be part of the show. And so he did, but he was dodging the answer. It's true. And then he gave, a, uh, you know, he, the industry would be lucky to have her back. And then he's pressed, pressed, would you do it? And he's like, yes, yes, of course. Would you team up? Uh, he still wasn't willing to commit and uh, finally pushed. I think she's a fantastic actor. We'd be lucky to have her back. And then when pushed about a team up, yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Mike and Rachel in Seattle. And then he just, just played the game because that's what you got to do in Hollywood. Um, but uh, yeah, even even when someone's nice to her, there's there, it's it, she's been getting bad press. And so it, this was a bad look to not show up and support the cast, Megan. Huge mess up on your part. Obviously, you've had all these issues, all these things have not fared well for your brand, but not showing up and now just trying to say, you turned it down? You turned it down? Either, like, even if this is true, and I know I don't, I don't buy it, and I know a lot of you don't buy it, but let's say, let's humor it for a second. Why would you turn it down? What a, what a B-word thing to do. Like, I don't have time for them. I don't have time for that. 
this show that has connected with so many people that now have been watching me as we're celebrating Hollywood, this industry I want to meet be in. Yeah, I don't have time for that. Like, either way, true or not, she's only made it worse. Because again, how do you not show up, be humbled, and appreciate, and be there with your cast? Because you can't. Again, all the all the proof and, and these examples come in to show why we don't like this woman, why I think she really is a problem, and I wish she would just go away. I really do. I, I say that, and I, I'll say it a lot. I'll keep saying it, but I, I, do you believe that she turned it down? I, I'm curious. I could see it that way. I'm, I'm going to be, be honest. There's a version where she might not have made, made fun of everything, but no, uh, personally... Why did you show up to all these other events? You show up to these other events. You were at the Beyonce concert. I mean, they're a little bit more controlled. There's not a comedian up front who's going to make a bunch of jokes in front of you. And I cannot, I do not think she can handle being at a venue that she doesn't control, honestly. And then being caught off guard as someone's making fun of her. She can't take a joke. So I know a lot of you are like, no, no, no. She wants to, but I, I, I dare you to, 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 to challenge me in that. She does not like to be somewhere she can't control and she does not want to be made fun of and roasted in front of her presence and her aura. She needs to make sure she's at places that are going to not do that to her. A lot of celebrities do that. They're, they're not, not going to show up and be the butt of a joke. It's like an Amber or a Jada. They don't go to places that aren't friendly. You know what I mean? They only go to friendly publications and events. Um, even Tom Cruise blew off the Oscars this year. Mr. Movies. Because it was clear he was afraid of being made fun of. Jimmy Kimmel made it so clear he's Team Tom and isn't going to make fun of him. Uh, and he still didn't show up because he was afraid. And that's the problem. You have sort of a a a you know a PR issue or a or a, a personal stuff out there that people really want to ask about. You got to be careful and protect your brand. Taylor Swift tries to do that too often. I don't think she would want to be there and face that. That said. How do you miss out on the suits thing? You don't have to be there in the public during the monologue, but you could have showed up to the walkout that all the cast members did. And I think Gina calling you out is very telling because it shows you don't get along with them. And I think you wouldn't want to be there more so because it's actually probably going to be awkward if you showed up next to them. That's my two cents, but I'm curious what you guys think. Again, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell for alerts, smash the like button, leave a comment. And yes, make sure you also hit that popcorn pla uh, palace logo. I'm going to put that right at the end of this video, head on over there, watch popcorn palace. We'll have a video over there this afternoon, more tea for you to check out. Appreciate you guys so much. We'll be live later today. If the Florida storm doesn't knock out my power. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. And thank you guys so much for watching here on popcorn planet.